Hey, it's Spencer with Merit 3D, another tip for mass production 3D printing. So when you have big parts, if you have thicker walls like this, many times the part is more guaranteed to come out uh, looking really well. If you have thin parts or thin walls, then many times you may have inaccuracies in your part. These, this particular part has to be thin because it requires the light to shine through to create these images on it. Um, it's a little bit harder and you get bigger defects in them. This particular part as well is a big one of thin walls and you can kind of see that you get some surface defects. And so when you can see through a part, you can actually see that little defect right there because the wall is so thin. So you do not have heat sink problems like you do in injection molding. You can make your walls thicker, um, but a good, you know, eighth of an inch thick is a good uh, safe surface, good wall thickness to print.